Here we are. The $10 LCR meter. Let's get to opening this. You know what? I'm gonna set down the camera. Alright, so here we go, unboxing it. Alright, first impressions, uh, this is pretty heavy. Feels, feels pretty durable. I mean, the plastic is not flimsy by any means. Feels like I could t practically throw this at the wall and nothing would happen to it. Um, some of the things I'm noticing right off the bat is it has a PMP, an NPN transistor tester right here. That's very cool. It's got um, a stand, which is kind of lousy. Um, it it works, but if I push back a little bit, it just falls down. So it's not very good. Um, so yeah, that that's not so great. Okay, there are some things that I read about in the listing on eBay. Um, it says that it does have an automatic power off. So. I turn it on and if I don't use it for a while it'll turn off to save my battery unlike my other my voltmeter because I turn the dial wherever and I got to turn it up to here to turn it off so it's got it's got three connections for the leads like a voltmeter you got your common but then you got inductance and capacitance for over here as you can see indicated by LC negative so you'd have the negative wire connected there of course common is going to be positive in this case so you got resistance you know that's what all this crap is um, so yeah let's get to testing this I got three different capacitors two resistors three different uh, inductors so we'll test this pretty pretty good just gotta pull out the test lead yeah, he's, they, they're okay. So just hang in there. Okay, let's see. The first thing we're going to start with is... Excuse me. Um... Capacitors. All right, so I got I got something very interesting for you guys. The mystery capacitor, not labeled. We have no idea what the value is of this, cause they don't tell you for whatever reasons. Maybe it's you know it's a made in factory. I don't know. But I pulled it out of a camera flash from a disposable camera a long time ago. So just gonna. I'm assuming it's probably in the hundreds or so, so I'm just going to test it and see what we get. Would you look at that? 90, roughly 90.0 microfarads, so that that's almost 100, so if you were going to label this, you'd probably label it 100 microfarads. Um, but sure packs quite a kick for the camera flash okay I got 470 unfortunately I won't be able to test this capacitor because it's over 200 microfarads so forget that um, but I got one other capacitor I can test it's much lower got a 10 microfarad capacitor as you can see probably blurry yeah, you can't really read it. Um, so I'm just going to turn this down to 20 microfarads. Should get about half that. Yeah, 8.9. So it's almost 10 microfarads. Well, almost 9 microfarads actually. So it's kind of far away. Um, yeah, I guess they're not too accurate, or maybe it's the meter, who knows. <clears throat> Alright, next we're going to 
inductance. So first we're going to start off with a, some of, well, let's see, a 100 micro Henry inductor that I got right here. It's a choke coil or something, I think. Um, I don't know if you can read that, but it's 100 micro Henry's. So I'm going to test it, and here we go. So 98.8, that's that's close enough for me to be happy. Um, really, that's that's closer than the 10 microfarad capacitor was. So we got that one. Now I got one that's labeled to be 33 micro Henry's. Sorry for the sniffling. I just uh, got a runny, runny nose. Um, so here's the 33 microfarad, I mean micro Henry capacitor. Uh, Inductor, so I'm drawing a blank. So 28.2. It's close enough for me, I guess. But if you're really trying to make a circuit, um, like a radio transmitter, you probably want to have something like this so you can be very precise with your when you're trying to make a resonant circuit. There I go again with the sniffling. Um, you know, if you're pairing this up with a capacitor, you you want to know exactly what it is that you're connecting to. All right, now I got a two Henry filter choke. This should be close. Just hold on, just a second. I forgot to strip this. Wow, that's not very close at all. Um, yeah, that really isn't very close. But, here you go. That, that's the point of having one of these. Now you know what you're really getting. Okay, next will be resistors after I blow my nose. Alright, sorry about that. Um, so here we go. We got two resistors, two very common resistors. You've most likely seen one of these before, at least. But you got your 10 microfarad, I mean, ten, oh my god, here I go. Your 10K resistor and you got your 1K resistor. First things first, I gotta change this to here because, you know, that's for inductance. This one's for resistance. So, first up, we're gonna test the 1K. So, I'm gonna turn it over to the 2K mark here. So nine nine point eighty six. That's that's close. That's close close enough. I'm okay with that. Um, now we'll go to ten k. So I'll just turn this up to twenty. Nine point fifty seven. Okay, it that would be rounded up to ten. So that's good enough. So overall, you've seen this as I don't know I don't remember if I pointed out that it has a backlight it does come with a battery already but the battery was like dead when I got it so I had to change it so yeah I know the unboxing was technically fake but hey you know I was giving you the first impressions what you would probably think when you were pulling it out of the box so whatever but yeah there you go there's your ten dollar LCR meter. It, it's actually pretty nice. I mean, pretty nice when all the other ones on eBay are going for 100 or so dollars. So, I'll take it.